Unpacking inspection. Please check if the package is intact. If it is damaged, please take a photo as evidence and contact our company in time. If it is intact, please remove the package and take out the device. If you have any questions or need help, please contact us in time for more service and support. Ennis Fisher Machine Induction Chamber and Bellow Tube Gas Evacuation Apparatus Filter Canister Charger of Gas Evacuation Apparatus Isofluorine Dozer and Drainage Tube Surgical Operation Platform Connecting Tube Concentric Mask and Mask Bracket Air Pump Tube for Air Pump and Pagoda Shape Connector Instruction Manual and Certificate of Conformity Thermometer Look at the upper edge horizontally. Vapressor. Flash oxygen button. Switch for mask outlet. Switch for induction chamber outlet. Indications for easy fill. Outlet of the mask. Outlet of the induction chamber Product nameplate Air inlet Air pump connection Screw the pagoda shape connector included in air pump package on the inlet of the anesthesia machine air source Use the silicone tube to connect the pagoda shape connector and the outlet of air pump. Divide the silicone tube that comes with the anesthesia machine into two. Connect one end of the cut silicone tube to the connector. Connect the other end of the silicone tubing connected to the mask outlet of the mask tubing connector. Connect the mask bracket. Screw the knob of the stand to the top and insert the mask into the bracket, taking care to flush the outer edge of the mask with the outer edge of the base of the bracket. Screw the knob and secure the mask. Connect the surgical operation platform. Insert the mask into the platform card slot which requires certain stress. Connect the induction chamber. Connect the other end of the silicone tube connected with the air outlet of the induction chamber. Then insert it into the interface directly in front of the induction chamber. Connect the bellow tube to the upper interface of the induction chamber. At last, a Y-shaped connector can be connected to the interface of the gas absorption canister and the bellow tubes of the induction chamber and the mask pipeline can be connected to the Y-shaped connector. Workflow Display Firstly, check the liquid level of the visual window of the vaporizer and replenish the anesthetic in time. Install the dozen adapter on the anesthetic bottle, correspond the raised place of the adapter to the groove of the vaporizer. Then press the anesthetic bottle to make the anesthetic flow down quickly. If it is the first time dozing, please leave it for 40 to 60 minutes after dozing before anesthesia. Turn on the outlet switch of the induction chamber and the air pump, then adjust the flowmeter to check whether the ventilation is smooth. 
Turn on the gas evacuation apparatus and adjust it to the gas evacuation mode, then the Noctar. Open the induction chamber and place the lap mouse. Refer to the instructions to adjust the oxygen flow and anesthetic to the appropriate parameters. Shake the induction chamber to observe whether the animal has a flipping response. Turn the outlet switches of the induction chamber often the mask on respectively then take the lap mouse out of the chamber and put its mouth and nose into the mask. Adjust oxygen flow and anesthesia to appropriate parameters to maintain animal anesthesia. Turn on the gas evacuation apparatus and adjust it to the gas evacuation mode, then the Noctar. If you need to perform induction and maintain anesthesia at the same time, turn both the induction chamber and the mask outlet switch on, adjust the flow rate and the anesthetic to two. After the experiment, adjust the anesthetic concentration and the flow meter to zero. Turn off the air pump switch and press the flush oxygen button to discard the residual anesthesia from the system. Turn off the gas evacuation apparatus and adjust the knob to zero. Turn on the gas evacuation apparatus again and unplug the belt bass collected to the canister with a gas absorption canister and replace it when it reaches 1 kg.